welcome to my introduction in programming in batch series. The aim of this series will be to teach beginners how to make a program, uh, a very basic program, so they can just get started and build up some new skills. Because for anyone who's just starting programming, the worst thing you can do is go in and try and do some really, really complicated stuff like Java or C++. That is the worst thing you can do. The best thing to do is start with something simple like websites or batch files, which is what we're going to be doing. Okay, so first of all, the first thing you will need is a Windows computer. Um, if not, you're going to need um, to be able to run uh, Windows on a different computer. So, for example, if you have a Mac or Linux, uh, you will have to download um, a virtual machine, so some virtual machine software. But for anyone who's using Windows, forget that and we'll just carry on. Right, so first of all, after you've got your Windows computer up and running, you're going to want to, uh, on your keyboard, hold down the Windows key and press R at the same time and it will bring up Run. Now in Run you can basically run any of your computer's most um, standard functions. So for example if we wanted to bring up uh, a painting application we would type in MS Paint, press enter or OK and we get a lovely little painting application and we can uh, do some lovely painting and yeah it's pretty simple. And that's it. This is one of the uses of run, bringing up applications with a short notice. Okay, next thing you're going to, need to um, you're going to want to do is familiarise yourself with Notepad, because this is what we're going to be making um, our programs in. We can use stuff like Notepad and Sublime Text, Notepad++ and Sublime Text, but they're a lot more advanced, and for beginners it's probably not the best idea. So what we're going to do is just press... Uh, the Windows key R, and instead of typing in MS Paint or whatever you had in there before, <coughs> sorry, we're going to type in um, Notepad, simple as that, and then press Enter, and you will get a new Notepad window. Okay, so now we're going to be starting to make our uh, program. First, let me show you one more key thing. So we'll minimize that. In fact, no, we'll just close that for now. So hit Windows key R again to bring up Run and type in CMD. Now this is the thing you'll be running your programs in, CMD, or command prompt. CMD is short for command, so it's sort of like commands. It's without the vowels, almost. Uh, press OK or Enter, and it will bring up this. And it should say C, uh, C drive users, and then your username, but mine is Adam, because that's my name. Right. <coughs> so command prompt is what computers used to have before they had this lovely desktop, desktop interface, they used to have this, and it used to be filled the entire screen. And to be honest, um, lots of experienced and advanced users will know how to control an entire computer by this. For example, you can delete files with Dell, you can move files with MD, um, you can rename them by typing rename and then the file name you want to rename it to, and it's quite complicated. But we're going to be writing our own programs using the exact same commands. So if so, if there was a command in command prompt of just title, which does exist, we can also make this in a batch file. So here's so here's what we're going to do. So bring up Notepad by bringing up Run and then typing in Notepad. Enter the sweetness, and we just adjust the camera, and there we go. Right. So the first thing to start making your program is to make a simple, simple program. So let's teach you about commands. So bring up a command prompt as well, along with your notepad. Ooh. Sorry about that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so let's learn about the simplest commands. The first one is probably echo. Echo literally prints out whatever you type after echo on the screen. So echo hello world. I can't spell world today. Will print out hello world on the screen. Now there are some fundamental problems about this because we've got this line here which we don't usually want um, and we just want this part but we can get do a workaround for that as well. There is also some variants of the echo command such as echo dot which will just make a blank line. There is also one called at echo off. Now what this will do is this will remove this part of the code. This will completely remove that part or if you're running it in CMD it will just remove this part which is quite useful. So we type at echo off and see we now completely remove this bit but we can still run the echo command. 
and it'll still run perfectly. However, in batch files, this bit will go as well, so it'll be even more important. So let's quickly turn that back on. Uh oh. Here we go. I put it on. This reverses the action. <coughs> Next command is pause. Pause literally stops all of your code until the user presses a key. Like that. Or if you want to hide this bit, we don't type the at echo off, we type this. Pause. And then one of these signs. I can't remember if that's smaller than or larger than, but either way, it's one of those um, signs. And we type null, which means nothing. So pause um, goes into nothing. And it does exactly that. See, this is still there, but it's hidden, so we can't see it. See, the program will stop running until we press a key, and it will continue. So that's the pause command. Next command is title. Title changes this bit up here. So on your programs, you don't want to say C Windows. Blah, 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 blah. No one wants to see that. We want to see something interesting. So we could type my first program. That would change up that. Or we could change it to um, YouTube for the win. Question mark. Because YouTube's not always the best, as you would, as you would presume. But anyway, um, that's pretty much the title command. It doesn't really have much more functions as that, apart from changing this part. Um, and now the last command I want to show you is exit. Exit will literally just safely close your program without harming anything. <coughs> um, so let's begin making our program. So I have my notepad open and your project you're we're going to want to type always start unless you're creating a file which deliberately gives you the output you're always going to want to put at echo off which will run the at echo off command then we want to run the title command to change the title at the top of we want to change the title at the top of here. So we want the title to be changed to um, my first program. Smiley face. Next, we want to uh, type in um, echo. Oops, echo. This is my first program applicants. Then we do a pause command so, so it will say press new key to continue. Then it will run another echo. It will do echo dot, which makes a blank line. Then it will write another thing to the screen saying, I know how to. Oh, I know how to use the echo command. Robot happy face. Then we'll do pause to stop the program and then we will exit it. Now now is the trickiest part for most new users. We're going to go to file, save as, not save, save as. <coughs> then we can make sure it's on your desktop and we're going to save it as a program or, or you, can you can call it whatever you want then dot bat or batch file. We need to save as type, all files, save. See up there, it will say program.bat. And now, if we minimize this, we will see we have a program.bat. The icon should look like this, unless you're on an older version of Windows, and then it will look a bit different. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, to run your program, it's you can either right click, press open, or you can double click it, which is easiest for most users. So, double click, and we'll see our program runs. It says, My first program. This is my first program, happy face. Press new key to continue. I know how to use the echo command, uh, robot happy face, press new key to continue and it will close because we added the ex exit command there. <coughs> Sorry if I keep coughing, I have got a cold unfortunately. Um, now in fact this episode isn't too long so I'm going to do one last thing. The last command I want to show you is CLS. So bring up, um, so I'm just going to bring up this quickly just to show you. Say we've got loads of text on our screen saying echo here, echo here. Uh, we've got echo this, we've got loads of stuff everywhere, and we just want to get rid of it all. We can type CLS, which stands for clear screen, and it will clear everything on our screen. Um, now this is useful, for example here, you can right click edit to edit it, and where it says, uh, this is my first program, uh, oh, after the pause command, we can type 
after this, sorry. Yep, after there, we can type CLS to clear everything above there, apart from the title, because that's not printed out. Um, so it will clear this bit so we can have some new fresh text there. File, save, and we can close it. So we'll close it out as well. And now we can run it again. You can see my first program. Now it should clear the screen and print out the new text. There we go. So that's all for today with um, my introduction to uh, programming and batch tutorials. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.